It's almost always helpful to reduce clutter in the script workspace by reducing the number of scripts that are in there. So almost any time you can combine many scripts into a single dynamic or adaptive script, you are making it easier to sift through your sea of scripts. It can be unhelpful or not helpful if the time to create an adaptive script takes significantly longer than the creation of the multiple scripts. You gotta kind of weigh that, you know, the pluses and minuses of doing something. If it takes you an hour to do an adaptive script and five minutes to make 10 scripts that are non-adaptive, I probably, for my client's sake, would go with the more scripts. So here's a couple of simple examples. They're navigation examples that are very easy to create, create and reduce script clutter significantly. Let's take a look at the structure here first. We'll go into Manage Database. And you'll see we have two tables, Contacts and Hobbies. Inside Contacts, we have the basic fields. And inside Hobbies, we have a foreign key for Contacts, so we can create the Hobbies right here in a portal, and the Hobby field. And then if you look at it, there's a relationship from KP to KF Contacts. And you'll see that we have Allow Creation and Delete on that very basic standard setup. The first script we're going to look at, and let's actually first take a look at the different views here. We have list view and form view for the contacts portion. We can go to hobbies and look at form view and list view again. So four total layouts basically. So let's take a look at the scripts. First one we're going to take a look at is this one and this one right here. So if we go into layout mode and double click on it, we'll see that we have go to layout parameter and then an optional script parameter which is not very complicated just in quotes contacts underscore form and if we go back over here to contacts double click on this one it says go to hobbies form or the optional script parameter is hobbies form so let's take a look at the script you'll see go to layout parameters right here it has two steps perform the script which we'll take a look at in a second. This one right down here, the go to layout new window, and then go to layout, name by calculation, and we simply put in get script parameter. So we're passing in the name of the layout into it so we can use that instead of specifying it directly. And you'll see that each of our layouts are contacts form, contacts list, hobbies form, hobbies list. It knows exactly we've, we specified. So if you do change your layout name, these are not going to adapt, but hopefully you've got a good naming convention, so they should stay the same the whole time. Now I threw in an extra little bonus here that I like to do, which is go to layout new window. And it says if the active modifier keys is four or six, let's make sure we can see that whole thing, and that is control or CTRL is four and caps lock key is two. So if you're holding down the control key while you're running the script, that's going to be a four. If you're not holding down any keys while you run the script or when you first start it, it's going to give you a zero. There's going to be, it's not going to be four or six. And if you accidentally have the caps lock key down, well, four plus two equals six, and that's what we're testing for this. So that's the idea here. So we can come in here, as you saw before, and go to hobbies and go to contacts but if I go ahead and hold down the control key you see it opens up a new window because I've held that down and I always put that caps lock key in there because people sometimes click it they don't know it's on and it should work anyhow no reason why I can't easily program around it now the other one I want to show you is reliant on good naming conventions this one's just reliant on you not changing the layout names this one's reliant on good naming conventions. You'll see what I have here. I have contacts form, contacts list, hobbies form, hobbies list. Now FileMaker is built around what I like to call FLF, find list form. You find, it produces a list of values, and then you choose which one you want to go to by clicking on it. Simple as that. That's how it works. And so I always have a form and a list view for every table, at least for the, you know, the people to see it. There'll be other layouts, but, but as far as the basic interface layouts, that's what I'm going to have. So I always name them starting with the table name, 
and what function it has. Because then I can do this. If we go to my go to layout form, we'll see it says go to layout, layout name by calculation, and the formula in there is grab the left words of the layout name that we have. And we did this previously in some videos with get layout table name. Same kind of idea, same kind of concept, you have to have good naming conventions. So I'm grabbing the layout name, which might be contacts form or contacts list or hobbies form or hobbies list, but then grabbing the first word, which will be contacts or hobbies, regardless of whether I'm form or list. And then I put on form on there and it's done. I go over to this one, it's just about the same thing, but we're adding on list. So you'll see when we look at these in layout mode, you'll see that I have one script, right? Go to layout list. And if I go over to hobbies form, this one has the same script on it. And the same is true for contacts form. Go to layout form. And then we go back over here and that's the go to layout form. So what we have here is something that adapts to your layout names. It allows you to create one script where you might have, let's say you had 10 tables, 10 times two scripts for each would be 20 scripts. You've taken 20 scripts down into two scripts simply by using good naming conventions and having a script adapt to the layout and the only thing you have to worry about here is sometimes you might have tables with two words. I try to stick to one word, but if there's possibly a chance where you might have two words, you can go ahead and, and make a more complicated formula. But I find it easier to stick to one word tables. There's no reason why you can't do it.